All right, everyone, in this one, I want to talk about an exotic that has honestly gone under the radar and it recently received a buff as well. The exotic I'm talking about is none other than the Second Chance Titan Exotic. These have a lot of unique interactions due to its exotic trait, and the exotic trait is called Mirror Midden's Reach, gaining a second charge of your shield throw melee, which becomes shield piercing and stuns barrier champions. And if you didn't know what the buff was to this exotic, it's that they actually made so that anti barrier stun can stun Grandmaster champions because before it wouldn't one shot a lot of the anti barrier champions in the game. But but now that it is fixed and you can rest assured see what i did there and you can one shot all your champion shields to your delight now really quick before i jump further into this i do want to say thank you all so much for the most recent support on my hunter build they get like over 1,000 likes a lot of the comments from you all were showing a lot of support for the build and you all seem to enjoy it so i really appreciate all the support in that video but all right jump right into it we've already went over how the exotic is going to work and the buff that it did receive the only thing you have to remember doing is take your shield throw melee so you can have two charge of this and that alone can make it a very unique exotic in itself and it kind of makes it have two different play styles so the first play style is obviously saving your shields for stunning anti-barrier champions but there is a second play style since you're going to have two melees you can build into that and you can kind of throw shield throws everywhere and if you're playing into some of your fragments you can basically explode everything with your shield throw now i always want to be real with you guys in these videos and i honestly think the second part we're throwing a bunch of shields everywhere is better than the actual stunning part of this exotic which i know is its main thing but we'll talk about why right now so there's no more problem with it actually killing a shield and higher level content the problem is though is that it has a lot of travel time so if the anti-barrier champion shield is up that shield is going to have a lot of travel time to get there and then that champion is going to be healed to full if you time this perfectly you can break it the second it comes up but you might as well just use other things in the game to take out champion shields at that point and you don't really have to worry about timing it incorrectly another thing is is that it doesn't have the greatest tracking in the game and i've had some times where the shield throw just kind of goes through the champion shield like it clearly seems like it should hit but it goes past it or it doesn't track enough or like i said again it just goes to the shield so it's very inconsistent in the sense that it has travel time and it kind of just doesn't hit the target but if it does hit the target now it will actually one shot the champion shield and that can be very good but i don't know if i would recommend running it over something just like arbalist or wish ender but now for the other part of the build throwing shields everywhere and blowing everything up and having that added benefit to stun anti-barrier champions is a very fun and really good option and i think in certain seasons this could be very strong and the reason i say that is due to the fact that our main exotic we're going to be running is monte carlo so monte carlo if you don't know is an exotic it's basically going to give you a bunch of melee energy when you damage enemies and when you get kills with it it has a chance to fully restore your melee you also basically Basically has swash buckler built into the gun and it's just a great exotic gun pair with a lot of melee builds the reason i say a specific season this could be stronger is due to the artifact mods this season particularly we have anti-barrier auto rifle so if you're running monte carlo you don't really need to run second chance because this already is going to do anti-barrier sure you can not slot in anti-barrier and have this be your you know anti-barrier tool but say a specific season has like overload auto rifle or even unstoppable auto rifle that just any of the other champion mods that means you can have your monte carlo pairing really well with the exotic and have you know say overload on your monte carlo and then you also have anti-barrier on your melee and they're both synergized with each other and they both are going to stun champions which i think is a very cool interaction i definitely can see that run in in-game content in a different season but as of right now that is not the case and i think just being able to spam shields everywhere is going to be your best option so for the build i have set up with this i'm going to be running a control demolition so whenever i hit targets with avoidability or a volatile explosion it will make them volatile you can kind of just chain volatile everywhere with this that means when i throw my shield at an enemy i'm gonna make the volatile then that volatile will explode and it's just a huge chain reaction it's very very fun it's very very strong as well for act clear i'm also gonna be running offensive bulwark so when i have an overshield my grenades are gonna recharge faster so this is actually gonna be slightly a grenade build as well due to the fact that we're always gonna have overshield so this is also gonna make it your melee is gonna have more range and melee kills will actually increase the duration of your overshield so what's cool with this is that the melee also is going to synergize extremely well with shield throw so when you hurl your void shield you hit enemies you're also going to make yourself have an overshield so not only are you going to be volatile on enemies you're going to give overshields to yourself which gives you even more benefits and you can constantly keep this overshield up at all times and it makes you very tanky and have a bunch of cooldown rate i do like to run vortex grenade you can kind of run whatever grenades you want to 
this grenade is just very fun very good and water dawn obviously for just pve capabilities if you want to run sitting shield with banner shield you could do that as well but water dawn is just always a great go-to for fragments i do like to run echo of explosion so if i defeat an enemy with my void ability they will explode this is just going to add even more explosions to shield throw especially with things like controlled demolition and it just makes the ability to throw these everywhere and blow everything up even more fun also echo of exchange so my melee final blows to create grenade energy so now since i'm going to be granting over shields offensive bulwark will also grant me grenade energy on top of echo of exchange change grant to me grenade energy echo of remnant so my vortex grenade lasts longer which will just you know result to more damage you know more at clear and then echo of starvation so when i pick up an orb of power i'm going to be granted devour devour is also going to grant me a lot of grenade energy when i get kills while it's active and it's going to heal me to full which again is going to help out with survivability alongside all your overshields weapons you can kind of run whatever i would recommend monte carlo so you can make sure to get your melee back as much as possible and then for stats i almost would always recommend 100 resilience it's just insanely strong right now i don't have it with this current setup i'm running because my titan gear is definitely not the strongest but i would 100 recommend 100 strength with this so you can get those melees back all the time now for mods i am going to be playing to both parts of this where i can throw shields everywhere on top of being able to make sure i do have a anti-barrier stun and i think the main mod we should go over first is heavy handed so while i'm charger light i'm going to be able to restore half the melee energy when i consume my melee attack so since you have two shield throws and throwing them is always going to give you 50 percent of your energy back this is just going to make it really really easy to keep your melees up all the time especially paired with monte carlo and some of our other stuff in the build now to get charger light i'm actually going to be running melee well maker so power melee kills will actually spawn an elemental well that matches my subclass type so i'll be spawning a lot of void elemental wells since i'm getting a lot of shield throw kills anyway this will then help me get charger light with the mod elemental charge so this is going to let me become charge light when i pick up an element 12. if it matches my subclass type i get two stacks which is very good because you're always going to have charge light 24 7 with this build which means you can always proc heavy handed now the other mod i'm taking with this is actually going to be overcharge world maker this is going to play heavily into if you're play, taking this into harder content so when you defeat a combat with the finisher it's going to spawn two arc elemental wells i think you could do is shoot an enemy with say your monte carlo just weaken an enemy finish them you're going to then spawn two arc elemental wells which will only give you one stack of charge of light but since you're spawning two you'll get two stacks and that can start off your heavy handed procs so you're not wasting the shield throw and you can pretty much always make sure you're charge light all the time even in harder in-game content making sure you have heavy handed up is very crucial to this build and that's why i think taking both of these mods it just makes it super easy super consistent and you can always have that champion throw alongside just being able to at clear everywhere with these because even in harder content the shield throws alongside you know controlled demolition you can actually one shot a lot of champions with your melee even in those types of content now for the other mod i'm going to be running seeking wells just so if i spawn a well far away it can track to me it just makes it a little bit easier and overall that rounds out the built combat style mod wise but if we get into some other mods i would recommend taking a one two finishers so whenever you finish an enemy you will restore your melee ability this does require one six of your super but we'll be taking another mod to try to mitigate that and one two finisher alongside overcharge well makers good pair together because you will always have your melee up and you will always get heavy handed and you can always just make sure you have your shields are ready to go i do have an outreach on just so if i use the class ability i do get some melee energy back this doesn't really matter that much i just had some extra energy so i just do it in there now to mitigate that super i'm also going to be running hands on so i'm going to gain bonus super energy on melee kills sure if i do get a finisher off to restore that melee this will help me get that melee back even faster because i could just throw a bunch of shields everywhere and i would also recommend running a kinetic siphon so rapid kinetic weapon funnel blows will create an orb of power so this means your monte carlo is not going to be able to make orbs of power which is going to help out with other aspects to the build with things like innervation right here so this is going to make it whenever i pick up an orb of power i'm going to be granted grenade energy you could change this to a arc mod so you could have picking up orbs grant melee energy if you want to but you already have a lot of melee cooldown with this build in the first place i think taking grenades here is definitely not a bad idea so if you're trying to get your grenades back as fast as possible anyway everything else synergizing together you could throw grenades everywhere as well and then finally you could run other champion mods i just have an auto life or reloader in here right now but anything else would work just fine even if you want to run something like impact induction around here so when you cause damage to melee it's going to also reduce that grenade cooldown that's going to synergize really well with your fragment so melee final blows great grenade energy so overall you're just always going to, be to have a shield throw 
ready to throw an at clear everywhere and also have one on backup there is a anti-barrier champion and you also on top of that will be able to throw a bunch of grenades everywhere and all you really have to do is make sure you get a finisher you know you get charge light you have heavy handed proc you get kills at monte carlo you spawn in orbs because monte carlo is going to have its times five more carl chain proc pretty much at all times since you're melee everywhere and just with everything synergizing together you have so many grenades so many melees and it is just very very fun now i don't think this is the best build on the titan by any means obviously storm grenade titans are probably going to be the best go-to or even bonk hammer titans and even run a shield bash still might be a better option simply due to the fact that these exotics are a little gimmicky it is nice that they do one shot champions but they are a little hard to use but if you can't get them to work get the timing down they will put in work for you and i highly would recommend giving them a shot and see if you enjoy the play style of them if you want to give this build a shot i will have a dim link to my build in the description below and if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more content just like this consider subscribing drop a like turn the notifications on also if you want to join my discord or follow me on any of my socials all that will be linked in the description as well but just know watching this video is way more than enough and that every single bit of support from y'all is truly appreciated thank you all so much for watching this one and have a great day peace